Hello! Welcome back to another long-anticipated episode of Little King's Story in Minecraft. Today we are showing off an area that has been long in the works and a lot of people have been waiting for, but first I just want to show off a few bonuses. So we're back here in Farmland and there's one thing that's a bit different here that you may have noticed. That's right, we now have a jump cannon. I said previously I might only add the one jump cannon in Castletown, uh, sorry, at the castle, in order to represent it. But I've gone and I've redesigned it, and I've also made it so that it's completely functional. It takes you to this menu, and now we can zip to any part of the world that has a jump cannon that we wish. So let's go to the castle, and we drop out of the sky, and we're at the castle. There's one other little bonus I want to show off just before we get properly started with the episode. If we go to Corbo's room, there was something that was missing there last time. That's right, we have this clock. This clock wasn't here previously. And if we press a button under it, it takes us to this menu where we can set the time to whatever we want with the click of a button. Cute, right? I think we want it to be midday, just for this. And then we go back, we leave our castle, and it's the middle of the day. But I know why you're here today, and it's probably not for jump cannons and alarm clocks. No, today we are finally, finally exploring the Tiptoe Kingdom. I have teased this for a long time, I have been working on this for a long time, on and off. I've had many issues doing so, and keeping it a secret that I finished it a few days ago was incredibly difficult. But, here it is. We're going to do a walk up from Royal City and get a full view of Mount Sobermanjaro. And isn't it weird that previously this bridge went nowhere and now there's just a whole land for us to explore? I cannot wait to show this off, no matter how loud my fan gets trying to load it. <laughs> so. Let's start. So, uh, over here we have this bridge that is the entrance to, uh, to the Chitra Kingdom that comes from School Plains, uh, which is going to be one of the last areas that we'll be making. And then you come into the outskirts, which are like, like weirdly really patchy. They have like these patches of grass everywhere, and um, then under, and then through it, there's like a glow, uh, like this glowing marked pattern. And I really wanted to uh, represent that, so the way I did it was I, I put it under leaves like this, and then I uh, put that there. Oh man, my laptop fan is so loud today. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can we can we reduce the, the distance a bit? Maybe you'll like me a bit more. Ah well. <laughs> ah well. We experienced this together, right? So uh, yeah, so this is how I did it. I uh, I decided to put leaves and put the markings under them and put them in the walls as well. Uh, this was also to separate a bit just from the glowstone markings that I put in the Dark Valley because those are a bit more like solid. So I thought it made more sense to just straight up put some glowstone there. And then we're going to explore the this outskirty bit first. We have uh, this wall on the ground as well, um, just to make the pattern all uh, different um, from each other. And then we come to this here peninsula, uh, which has this sign, as it is in game. It doesn't have the full sign just because it can't fit, but it says, sorry, this area ahead is still under construction. And if we walk over to the end, what's this? A construction pending sign, because that's where New Island's going to be, and I thought it'd be cute to put a sign there for the time being. Obviously, it won't stay there once the bridge is built. And then we have all these little islands uh, that are around it. Um, then, uh, this is the Hidden Hot Spring. Um, now, the Hidden Hot Spring, um, is a wonder spot. Signs over here. And I guess it's hidden because they don't expect you to keep going around this area. They think you're going to continue over to the peninsula over there, so. Uh, if we keep going over here, we have this little bit. Uh, and over here is an art piece. This is one of the most northernmost points that we can go. Uh, in the world of LKS, um, and then yeah, this is uh, this is it for these little outskirts. But uh, I'm sure you uh, recognise it. There's a 
There's an Yvonne that jumps out here to guard a hole. There's like a, a burning hole over there, that mount can uh, just about there on the end of that bit, that mounts the only amount you can dig. And then all of this is, of course, in the shadow of Sober Manjaro itself, uh, which you can see the, the beard hair uh, <laughs> from here in game as well. But returning back over here uh, to the other side of the field, we have the ledge, uh, which holds the jump cannon that you can then build when you first arrive here. We have the slope that uh, you use to come up to this little plateau. Then on this plateau, uh, we're making our way over finally to explore the forest behind the fallen billboard that you get the flying machine part from, of course. Okay, maybe that's not why we're here. But yeah, uh, so this billboard has so much history behind it because it falls at a, an angle and uh, I tr wanted to make it feel like a solid object. I didn't really want to make it look diagonal because I think it would look really weird. And I really like how this looks, but in doing so, I had to bend the terrain a bit around it and it kind of meant that this area turned out really hard to like reference and stuff and it really screwed up tons of other parts of the map. And hey, it's gone dark just for the area that's in the uh, shadow of Sober Manjaro, so it's dark itself. Um, so over here, there is a line of mushrooms here that blocks off uh, an art piece. And then um, there's these stairs that you can build to get onto this like, higher part of the forest, and then leads immediately into a basin. I am seriously going to try and turn my options down even more because that fan is really annoying me. Uh, this model of Mac is uh, a uh, memed for its uh, for its uh, very loud fan. <laughs> so um, there's this little like ledge over here that uh, leads uh, nowhere in particular, um, and then you have the this clay of the uh, mountain. And I, I must talk that I did try and test out to make a color that would uh, get a color that would work for this ground because the thing is that this ground due to just how um, a, like developed LKS's lighting system is, it can look grey, it can look like a bright creamy colour, and it was really hard to try and find like a middle ground, <laughs> quite literally a middle ground, uh, for uh, the ground for this to look like the right colour in most lights, and I think this works. I think it looks mountainy as well, it doesn't look too clean, um, so yeah. Uh, and then again, this is uh, in the shadow of some, not so Manjaro, just over there. And I found out that for some reason this path should be closer to these trees, so I think that this area in general is a little bit too um, westward. I might have to try and fix that later, um, but it sounds a little bit like a pain, and uh, obviously I, just want, I don't want to solve that right now. So yeah, this is the area where you, there's a, uh, another line of mushrooms here, and there's another one over there, and you fight um, a ton of mush bros, and some mush geezers, um, there's a crack in the hole that spurts a geyser, which will uh, heal like poison and such. And then if we uh, carry on over here, there's another mushroom there. That, oh yeah, there's a mushroom down there that has an art piece and a mushroom there that has an art piece. Um, and then um, to, oh yeah, to create this, uh, the the glowing mushroom effect, I just put a bunch of mushrooms with, and rods in them. And I think it, I think it works really well. I think it, I think it gives off what I was trying to do. Um, and the other, the other side to this, uh, of this mushroom decoration are these mushroom trees, um, which someone said to me, huh, I noticed they're supposed to be mushroom trees to match the mushroom area, uh, to, uh, to, to my entertainment while I was making this. It's very easy to get out of a bounce here, but you know what? Who cares? It's not like a, it's not like I'm designing the game itself. It's all about exploration, really. And then on this northern coast, you come over here, and there is a hole in the ground. And in this hole in the ground is the flying machine part. So this area is obviously only accessible uh, once you've actually beaten Long Savage and taken over uh, the kingdom. So that is this unnamed forest, which we just call Sober Majora Forest on the wiki. The closest thing this has to an official name is um, Near Northwest Sober Manjaro, uh, it's called that once in the guidebook in passing uh, in Japanese, and it's just such a limp name, so we never 
So uh, I, I, I prefer to just call it the Sobanjara Forest. Um, so yeah, that's that for this area. It's actually been so long that I've completely forgotten some of the changes I've made since the last episode all the way back in January. Um, and it's now May. <laughs> this has taken a while. Um, so yeah, I redesigned the hot tubs. Uh, hot tubs? Hot springs. So they look a little less wooden and natural now, uh, which is a bit sad, but they're a bit more compact by using this, uh, this round stairway. I did want to put a bit of natural wood in the middle. Because the other design uh, was just a bit too big, and it just took up a bit too much space, so I wanted something that was a bit more compact. Uh, we got the flags, because this is the uh, conquered version. Another redesign I've only just remembered just now, you might remember in uh, all the way back in the first episode of the series, this bridge was in fact orange. But I thought it looked a bit too bright compared to the stone bridges of uh, Little King's Story, so I redesigned it to be a sandstone colour. And um, this area in general, I had a bit of a crisis because I built it and I realized somehow I'd squished the whole thing so that it was like 10 blocks too south. And I don't know how I did it to this day, but I fudged around with it enough to get it back to where it should be. Um, and I'm very glad I caught it when I did, but it was a bit of a crisis. Oh yeah, so here's the sign saying Sober Majora Natural Preserve. Uh, originally this is a lot taller before it's taken over by Opoco. And then uh, just before we get into this area, I want to say that this area and everything you've seen before it has been done for months and months and months. Um, this, this has all been done since I think February uh, and the mountain just took that long and I'll go in more into that in a second. But uh, yeah, I'm very sorry for the delay. Also, hey, why don't I actually show off? Uh, I have my long, long savage skin. I thought that'd be fun. So yeah, let's walk around in this. So we have uh, the gym horses, uh, as I found out they were called just by trying to do the wiki, essentially. So yeah, th this is where um, originally there's a lot of Mounties around here, and they're all commanded by the Beard General, who's a blue-coated Mountie up there, um, who uh, has his own wiki page. Please check it out. It's one of my favorites just because I love obscure characters. Uh, then we have all these tires. I was going to make the tires with the stairs, so it would actually be a loop shape, but it just was a bit too, was taking up a bit too much space. I might still go back to that design just because I quite liked having the shape. But yeah, these little walls supposed to represent the tires. And then these are like port bars uh, to help the Monty stretch, I suppose. And then we have the hiker's registration desk. So there's a Monty that sits behind here, and he tells Cargo, do you want to go up the mountain? Uh, he has like a little telephone here, I think, or something, so I put a little lantern, uh, and then he has like a little, um, like a bit of paper, I think, like something that's hanging off the desk. So I put this, uh, in, I designed it like this, so it kind of looks like the same. Uh, it looks a bit more detailed than just putting a row of uh, woolen blocks. We have this um, sign. I never really got this. I don't really know what it's for, but there's a sign here, so I decided, hey, I'm going to recreate it. Uh, and I think original. my theory is that it's going to have the five tenets of the tour mountain on it before they gave it to the Beard General. Uh, so sadly, instead of having a sign that says, time to get Spoonie, we have a character that says, time to get Spoonie. And then we have the railroad gate. And I didn't realise this until after I went back to make this project, but the railroad gate, only, uh, the, only this one remains. After the fight, all the others uh, go missing. So yeah, this is the little this is the the Mounties grounds, as it were, at the foot of Mount Sobermanjaro. And now for the bit you've probably all come here for the mountain itself. And yep, this is probably the single biggest best thing I've made for this entire uh, this entire uh, project so far. And I. Here's the thing: I had a few delays uh, for technical reasons to make this um to make uh this kingdom but honestly ev like I, like i say everything before this was done and this just took ages to plan is the thing i i built the whole thing basically over the last half a week because it was the building part was easy it was planning out where the paths would go so that they wouldn't uh be too big or too small they wouldn't collide with each other because it's so interconnected and I didn't want it to overflow upwards or to the left or right, and I didn't want it to 
not match up with the other paths in this. This was a huge undertaking. Uh, but after I did that, the building part was surprisingly easy because I'd just seen the mountain so much that I knew its shape so well I could just go into it and do it. And so it's done. Not gonna lie, doesn't look quite as tall from this angle. And that's simply because Little King's Story uses a lot of a um, lot of optical illusions in order to make the mountain look a lot taller, while still keeping the general flat feel of the game in order to command your team and make sure they're all able to run in straight lines by keeping the uh, surface of the ground relatively flat. So, uh, a lot of the walls here look really steep in our case, and some of them are, like this one. A lot of them are actually slopes, and, uh, and it goes straight on with some clever texture work to make it look like it's a sheer face, but it's actually a slope in order to make sure that you can actually climb the mountain and that it works with the game's mechanics. And of course, I have all the beard hair going down in the exact same locations that they do in game, and the carpets really sell this effect, I feel. Uh, they really make it look like it's draping down. So, let's climb the mountain. So, uh, I don't know the number of meters, but we go through and we pass what would be the first road, road gate in the game, uh, in the battle itself. Coming up this little uh, curved bit, and there's like a little uh, dip in there, and ah, uh, I just I, I went into so much detail to make sure the shape felt the same as well. So yeah, this is much more slopey than it looks in um in uh in uh LKS at first glance. But when you really examine it and you look at it from above, it's like oh okay, it's actually a fair bit of a um, width to it. Uh, then we have obviously uh, I forgot to mention it down there, but we have the adits, the little cave entrances that you hide in to dodge attacks. Um, this was just really fun. Uh, this is this like. Putting this detail in just really brings it to life, and uh, I'm just I'm just so happy with this. Again, more beard hair, and this curve, which is entering the third phase, or I guess second like checkpoint, and then this is the really long one because it got redesigned uh, partly through development. We have this uh, giant chasm that goes down there that you can't fall in, I guess, but you can in this, so uh, you ought to watch out. <laughs> Ah, uh, the shape of the path took so long to make. Again, I was blueprinting this um, for ages, uh, and just getting the shapes of everything right and making sure nothing was too like wide, and therefore it would uh, ruin later areas because I just run out of space because I've made a path too wide. And ah, uh, it's also good. I mean, I'm just glad it came out so well in the end. Like, look at this. Ah, I'm so happy. Um, and then, yeah, we come up here and there's a blockage here, so we can't get through. Uh, there's a gym horse and some tires, and some mounties are stopping it. So then we go down this little side path. <clears throat> and then when we do, we go around the, this back of the mountain, this, this back path that was added much later in development. And then uh, here we are at the back of the mountain. And then I had to try and design all of these cave entrances so that they now uh, worked at an angle. Uh, oh. <laughs> Uh, because, uh, yeah, a lot of them are no longer on a flat edge, but I wanted to keep the overall shape of them. I think I did a pretty good job overall. A lot of these look pretty similar. So yeah, this is where all the swinging beards are. Uh, these are, this is where the PC port really starts to show, show its, uh, true colours, uh, by not letting you properly enter these, um, cave entrances the way you're supposed to, and therefore you get whacked off by beards and just completely insta-killed and all sorts, uh, you know, good port, good port. So, and then we come round the mountain and uh, we hide and we hide and then we get to the other side. And I guess while I'm here, I should uh, I should say that um, most ledges in LKS are uh, a certain height, but on Mount Sober Manjaro, I noticed that ledges were a little bit taller than usual. I think this will come into play in a little bit, so I'll just leave talking about it until then. But it basically meant that I tried to um, use my scale in Minecraft, I tried to say, hey, each story um, is two blocks tall. But then, uh, um, Mount Sober Manjaro works by its own rules, so I couldn't apply that anymore. So I, I had to, uh, uh, I made it three. And it also meant that um, it looks, uh, the overall thing looks a bit taller, and I think it's more like the height it should be, because it just, the estimated height was way too short, and I'm glad I caught that early on. And it also means I can just get more detail with this this, uh, this pathing uh, on top of the uh, the rock and all that. Oh, hey, there's a displaced block there. Yeah, I guess I can fix this uh, 
now. Yeah, and I used Soul Soil because I felt it uh, looked like the rock of Sob Manjaro uh, the, uh, the most. Um, um, and I think, yeah, I think I think I think this is a, like I say, I think this is a really good color scheme that really sells it. And then here is the very very painful Manjaro Cavern, uh, which is blocked off when you return here. And there's a uh, an art piece here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> um, obviously this is a complete version of the world, so sadly I can't make uh, the Manjaro Cavern itself. Uh, but hey, if I manage to get around to duplicating this and making a uh, a different uh, like a the not completed version of it, then I'll be sure to include that. Uh, that's a cavern, and uh, I'll try and replicate the maze in some way, which I'm sure people will uh, love me for. <laughs> so let's just quickly run all the way back round and head up, and oh, it's getting dark, how atmospheric. So yeah, so where does the cavern come out? Why here, of course. And then this is also gated off. Uh, this is the exit. Uh, there's a hot spring here. Actually, there's a hot spring down there that I didn't know about for years, and I literally mean years, and then someone opened it and a let's play and I was like oh there's one there I never saw that uh, and then this is uh, there's another railroad gate here and then this is where there's an electric beard that sweeps the floor and it uh, creates these burn marks uh, so obviously I had to replicate those and then there's this fence here and I only noticed recently that this fence has um, bits that are missing and have fallen to the ground below so it should be a complete fence but as a detail you see these little Bits of wood on the floor. Yeah, that's supposed to represent the fallen fence, and you can go and check that in game uh, if you want. Uh, we're nearing the top of the summit now, uh, and just for atmosphere, screw it. Let's turn the render distance down. <laughs> um, and then um, yeah, we have um, the the beard bridge, which apparently people did not realize is a beard bridge. They thought it was made out of white rocks that were just the same color as the jar's uh, sorry, uh, Long Savage's beard. But uh, yeah, there's a beard bridge and has some little lightning on it, so I put these uh, yellow glass. And um, once you build that, we come over here. There's this little like, viewing deck that I never really understood. Uh, but, but you can come down here and then overlook the Manjaro Cavern. And then, um, and then yeah, this bridge goes over the, uh, the crevice from earlier. And finally, we approach the summit. And... Yeah, this is like one of the most iconic locations in the King's story. So we have uh, Wonder Spot 17, so Manjaro. Uh, and then this is his little, this is where he stands on top of this. Oh yeah, this is the ledge thing, you see. Uh, like, let me let me quickly run back down uh, so you can see what I mean. So um, yeah, a lot of the legend at the LKS I interpreted as two blocks high, but I noticed these were slightly taller than your average LKS ledge, so these are three blocks now. And... Um, yeah, and then uh, I applied the same rules over here, and yeah, this uh, this is the summit. This is uh, this is where the, um, Long Splash stands on top of, and uh, then we have the crane from the uh, the opening cutscene uh, to his battle, uh, which is made of like a green and yellow metal. So I did it this way. I thought that was uh, the best way to represent it, and then it has a little basket hanging from it. And then we have uh, the the telescope. The very spoilery telescope, and um, <laughs> well, not spoilery, but it hints towards a few things that come a little bit later in the game, and uh, very, very hard to watch people play blind and then ask, "What's this about?" and then you just have to keep quiet. <laughs> may I say? Um, but yeah, and then this is yeah. So, Long Savage stands atop here, and his beard flows all the way down the mountain, and once again, all the beard flows exactly where it should in game. I made sure of that. So, um, now for some things I'm sure you have all wanted to do uh, in LKS, but never have been able to. We're going to jump off the side of Sober Majoro, just like Lung Savage himself. Let's go! Way! Spoosh. <laughs> and then finally, we have to, we have to have a zoom out of this area. So, let's turn this render disc. Okay, it doesn't need to be that big. Uh, 11 should do. Let's turn 11 on, uh, it up to 11, quite literally. We're going to set the time to the day, so we get a good view of it. And now, an amazing zoom out of Sobmanjaro. And just for the sake of not... Oh, 
<laughs> just for the sake of not uh, sticking my fan super loud and kind of ruining the, uh, the video overall. I'm not going to do a zoom out of the entire world, but I have taken some pictures of them and uh, of the entire world zoomed out and rendered. Um, and I will, I should have those on my Twitter very soon. So uh, uh, please check my Twitter out at Coroboni. Yep, it's spelled exactly the way you look. Nope. Uh, exactly the way you think. And nope, it's not supposed to be a shipping name. I don't think I knew what those were when I made it. Um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the Tiptoe Kingdom. Uh, and, okay, one last little thing, even if it kills my laptop. I'm going to turn it up to, well, 16, 17. And we're going to see, uh, you can really hear it chugging now. <laughs> Tell you what, just to make it all nicer on my laptop, we're going to turn that down to 10 FPS. Uh, and then um, you can see... So Manjaro from the castle, get a good view of it. Oh, look how 2009 this uh, frame rate is, beautiful. But yeah, have you, always, have you ever wanted to see Mount So Manjaro from the castle? You want to see it in the distance? There you go. Ah, uh, oh, I can't believe it's over. It's been like three, four months work on this. Yeah, it's uh, it's been insane. Um, I I hope you all really enjoyed this episode. Uh, I am so proud of uh, I'm so proud of this creation in particular. And the next one, I suppose, is going to be a surprise. Um, I, I've talked about some ideas of what I might do. It's either going to be some far planes, or it's going to be the rest of Western Alpoco, so that I can build around it. So probably nothing's ever going to be as monumental as this. Um, this is, like I say, just a huge, huge undertaking, so much planning, and I don't think anything's ever going to take that much again. I have to thank, once again, um, Jazzband for providing so many reference photos, and I also have to shout out to uh, Chi495 for providing some modified camera shots of the mountain that really sped up my ability to create it and really help me to uh, get all the paths right and just made it look as good as it does. Um, uh, honestly, thank you to both of you for that. Uh, thank you to everyone just in general for being so supportive of this and being so patient and telling me to take my time and not try to uh, push through it, especially with all the technical issues I had. I had um, I had a mouse break. I, I had to set my laptop up at one point because... Uh, Unsurprisingly, I had an issue with my fan. Um, so this is the this is the improved fan. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's just. Um, I'm gonna show the back of Sobermanjaro. I feel like I uh, should do that. So yeah, even if it won't load in time. <laughs> uh, well, this has been fun. This has been really fun. Uh, it's 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 so nice to have this done. I, I'm filling for time now. I don't have anything more to say. I'm just super happy with this. You can see near New Island over there. Um, so yeah, thank you all for joining me once again. I, I I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed making the mine itself. I hated all the blueprinting. Um, I'm sure if you destroyed the walls and went inside, you could still see a lot of uh, uh, kind of leftovers from that stage of like designing it. But uh, and even though it didn't quite come out perfect, I think I think it doesn't matter. I think uh, the proof is really in the pudding, and I think a lot of people are. <laughs> I think I hope you like. I hope you like how this turned out. Oh, it's so big! All right. So uh, until the next episode, um, which probably won't be for a while. Um, it's kind of insane that I made so many so quickly at the start, and then uh, it really slowed down after that. But hopefully it won't be nearly as long because it just won't take nearly as much time to plan. But I hope to see you in the next one. Um, and thank you for uh, everyone who enjoyed all the stuff I did for LKS 12. I wanted to get this done in time for LKS 12 and I didn't quite make it. I hope uh, I hope you'll forgive me for that. But I did, I did try to do some other things to make up for it. I did upload the OST in high quality. I can't believe my calm and relaxing LKS music video to study to has, like been one of my most popular videos <laughs> I've created. Uh, I did I did not expect that. I just thought, ah, I'll put this together. I'm sure someone will like it. And I, I, I've used it a few times already. But um, 
yeah, it's uh, that, that was fun. Um, we really did do a lot for RKS12. Uh, I'm glad, thank you for everyone who joined in with that as well. And uh, it just it feels so good to be a Little King Story fan. It really does. Um, it really feels like a bit of a renaissance. It feels like we've really, as a community, we've created something living and breathing uh, for this game that they never really had before. And it's really just nice to be able to experience that. Um, so thank you, uh, each and every one of you. Uh, so until then, take care. And uh, I don't know how to end these things. <laughs>